So last class we have seen that uh, catalog how to create the, the structure we have seen. Today we will create one catalog, then we will uh, break into the model that we can do now. First, we need to create one main catalog. Hello? Yeah, yes, yes, I'm listening. Uh, yes. Uh, so first, we need to create one main catalog. This is like a catalog hold like that. Next to all section. Next to category. <coughs> so the form it will automatically open when you are starting catalog creation. Your voice okay. is somewhat uh, not clear. Just okay, one minute. I think there is internet stability. Now it's okay, is it? Can you hear me now? Not okay. Now can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm able to hear, but voice part somewhat different. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, once it okay, is, okay. Uh, we are now starting from scratch. That's me. The structure automatically is created, as you can see here. So these are the basic structures already created here. So the parameters are empty. The here it's also empty. So we have to create one by one. So how to create for elbow? I'm going to show you for you on elbow for understanding purpose. So this is the concept for all the catalogs. Any component you can model by using this component uh, concept only. Now, for this elbow, what kind of parameters we have to use? What kind of things we need to add? Everything I'm going to take from the reference. Mm. That is, it depends on person. You can remember, you can uh, mark up that one. Whatever you can do, you can do that. But I'm not remembering, so I'm taking from the reference from A150. So without error, we can, uh, uh, take, we can take that one. That's what I'm taking this uh, reference on and follow the okay. So to find the elbow, I'm selecting the elbow heading. So we have modeled only 100 respect, 100 mm respect only. So we will take the 100 mm 90 degree elbow here. Okay, now I'm keeping this aside. I will work on this one. I'll take the reference from here. Okay, the initial stage, we need to enter the parameters here. This is the first important thing you need to create. Essential thing we have to start. So there are five parameters on that. I'm going to enter the five parameters here. So here is the under value nominal size. So here it is mentioned nominal board. Okay, so the value we have to enter here. We will enter the last final, no issue. So next, <clears throat> there is a center to face is there.
Next, <coughs> connection type. <coughs> Excuse me. We have to make this connection type. Next, next to outside diameter, we have to make it. So these five parameters I have created now. Now I'm going to enter the um, values here. I'm going to enter the values director. Straight away I'm going to enter here. So generic type will go. Parameter two, one fifty two point two. So parameter three BWD. I will explain this connection type me what is this. What it is later I will explain. PF four one fourteen. PF eight twenty seven. Okay, now next we need to create the point set. So I'm clicking the point set here. We have to switch on all the things here. I'm taking the things from here to here. So here it is a uh, axis point. There are uh, different kind of points on that. This is a Cartesian point. Next to point. Uh, this is the question type points. So each point is having the different uh, uh, phenomenon. Like a point axis means only you can create in the axis only you can create. Whereas if you create the P point means Cartesian point means you can create in 3D model anywhere else you can create a Cartesian point. Mixed point means the design same as Cartesian point but the sum of the inputs will be available. And what? Here it's a mixed point means uh, we can uh, uh, different from this one. So each one of point having this different uh, applications. So for elbow, simple point axis is enough for us. So we have to provide the number. So number, fine number. One. Actually, this is a symbol key. Uh, you cannot, uh, no need to enter here. Uh, it will be there is a detail text is there, so there you can mention that one. Uh, so uh, we we no need to enter here. This is a connection type. Connection type nothing but this one parameter three. So we cannot enter BWD because all the components is the same for this parameter. So we need to enter the parameter only. So which parameter we need to take? Parameter three. Uh, more. More size we need to take from parameter one. Axis direction it is mentioned here. 
axis direction for all elbows are same only so we can manually enter this is no need no need to take from the parameter set axis is not required and uh, distance we need to enter because the distance is from here to here so they have used one syntax here so the tan of parameter 2 dd angle means it is taking this value this one only parameter 2 values it is taking dd angle means 90 degree so the same syntax i am going to use here then click apply so now you see here so that this is the main thing we have to enter so once if you enter now automatically the point one is fixing now now the same thing point two also we need to create again axial point enter this one is the point number two here parameter three even if you if you are not using this also directly you can enter the uh center to face dimension parameter 2 also you can enter here you can enter the parameter 2 also it will take uh here axis direction you directly you can give minus x sorry plus x plus y you can take it it will take but uh, even that we can use the same syntax what they have given this and the same for example if i am taking parameter r2 then click apply see here the Point position two is finished. Yet. This is this method also is okay, but uh, they have given some uh, mathematics uh, things syntax, so we will use that same thing. Okay. These are the points we need to set. That's it over. This is called P points, position points. When you are modeling, uh, it will ask you some P points positioning. There is option in the 3D EPL PD mode. That P point is nothing but these points. Which how many points you are positioning here? Uh, you are providing that is called the positioning points. Okay. Next we need to provide the geometry set. Here I am going to copy from here to here. Here there are so many geometry we have created, but only I am taking the circle drawers only because I need to only model bring this one into the model only. Hello. So these all are I told you already. This yeah. is for isometric and drop purpose only. So I am omitting this one. When you are working the company or properly you are working, then you you can add as it is. So click this one. You can see the all the parameters. You copy yourself. Now. For modeling purpose, this is enough for me. So I am creating this one simply. Yes, means solid circular torus. That's no need of that one. Okay. Now this is the piping detailing. The representation nothing but uh, like a kind of two uh, D wire line, obstruction volume. You know that one. So this insulation volume like that it is there, but ours is piping detail. Obstruction is hard. So if you select this one, automatically this will come. Otherwise, manually if you want to change it, you can change it. But uh, this is a hard item only. So we need to set this one hard item. Select this one as it is tube flat. We we can select the tube flat. So purpose they don't enter anything. So we we also leave it as it is. Uh, you can see this geometrical pad. This one, section tiles. Click this one. So, what are the 
input they have given here a axis b axis diameter will be diameter mean p dia here is that p b a x b p a a x is there uh, so this many things are there so what do we need to do here uh, we have to do this one uh, this axis point we have to provide here simply here is the p point is there so what i am going to do here just to remove this one you can enter here p1 manually otherwise you can select this one by clicking this one you can select the point here also you can select the point automatically it assign here diameter we have to assign the parameter so here what they have taken some parameter 4 and 1 so this is meaning when you are seeing the attribute both the attributes we can select this is the exact diameter this is the nominal bow so both we need now so that's what we have to provide like this kind of uh, syntax the same syntax i am going to paste so that it will take it will assign both the thing now click apply see now our elbow is ready now that's it over now what we need to do here data set and goal set is not necessary for us so here point set our point set automatically assigned here 24400 this is 24500 the same reference only it is assigned here uh, geometrical 2401, 2401, it's assigned automatically for the particular category. So if you see here, see here, this is the one elbow it is created. We have at present we have selected one elbow only category. So one elbow only we have created. That's what is called specification component. Only one elbow it's created now. Now if you add here one more thing here, just to click this one right click and copy this component so again it will come one more component you see here second component is coming so when you are selecting this component you have to change this parameter here 200 the accordingly you have to enter this 254 because i don't know exactly time you see here automatically elbow is changing that is the beauty of the parameter using this one but will uh, diameter 114 and making 125 you see here automatically changing this one parameter weld symbol diameter that is b you can use it so likewise if you are using the parameter automatically the elbow will sizes also will change in the model itself also that's why we are using this parameter parametrical logics okay uh, uh, please try to do this one after 10 minutes i will join one more guys who are waiting for me after 10 minutes, I will join with you. Otherwise, I will. Yeah, after 10 minutes, yeah. I will ping you and join with you. Thank you. Thank you.